Welcome to my YouTube channel Rainy Shoot. In this video, you will be learning about index number in statistics. This is my video tutorial series of on index number. This is my lecture one. In this, you will be learning about an introduction to index number. That is, what is an index number? What are the uses of index number in statistics? Where we are going to use an index number? What are the different applications of index number? And different with the help of example and different types of index number. So I request you, please stay tuned till the end of this video. Please subscribe to my channel, like and share this video. Thank you. In this video, you will learn about index number in statistics. That is introduction to index number in statistics. Before starting with definition of index number, I would like to explain the index number with an example that is what is index number and its usage with the help of an example so let's start let's consider if you have this data year wise data and a production so in production you have some values from 105.6 with respect to 2010 years so on till 2015 i have the 156.8 i have all these figures on the screen so if i ask you what sort of changes are there from year to year, year to year? So by seeing this raw data, by seeing this raw data, you won't be getting exact what actually this data is telling. How much percentage the production is increasing or decreasing year wise. Okay. So index number, in a, if I give you the same table with index number or indexes, production indexes. Here you will be easily able to recognize what sort of percentage increase in year wise year wise percentage increase you will be able to see okay so just randomly i have created the production index such as 100 110 120 130 150 randomly i have created okay with respect to the production year wise so if i have the index number you will be easily able to find what sort of percentage is increase from 2010 to 11 it's 10 percent if I consider from 2011 and 12, if I want to compare, it's another 10% increase. So till here, I am able to easily identify that 10, 10% increment is there in production. Year wise, I have increment. So same like this, if I am going to compare the data of 2011 and 13, I can easily find there is a 30% increase in production from 2011 to 13. Same like this, if I want to compare from 2011 to 14, there is a 40% increase in production. So in this way index number will help us to easily find what sort of changes are there on one particular variable over a period of time over a period of time so in simple terms i can say index number is a specific ratio tool which make comparison more easily which make comparison more easily basically index number is a ratio tool which makes our comparison more easily so this is all about our index number with an example so let's see the definition part an index number is a measure of change in a variable what was a variable there is a production variable so index number measures a change in variable or a group of variable over a time or a place as discussed in the example so it is typically used in economics to measure trends in wide variety of areas including stock market prices cost of living industrial or agriculture production etc index number are one of the most used statistical tool in economics why we are going to use a index number in statistics because it is going to show the growth of a one particular society okay or a country economic barometer it will be called as index number are also stated as a percentage of base figure so as shown in the uh, example so how much percentage the production has increased in terms of production in terms of percentage we were getting the values in index number so index number are stated as percentage of base figure index number are the specialized averages that measure the change in level of phenomena given the index number are also known as economic barometer or economic indicator since they help in understanding the changes in economic condition of the society or the country so basically there are two types of index number they are the first we have is unweighted 
simple unweighted or simple index number and weighted index number. So we have unweighted index number and weighted index number. So let's see in detail about what is unweighted index number and weighted index number. So we have two types of index numbers, unweighted index number and weighted index number. Unweighted is also called a simple index number. What, let's see what is unweighted index number first. So unweighted index number, under unweighted index number, all the items are given equal importance and equal weights is assigned to all. What does it mean? I will explain you this with an example. For example, I have a, a for example, if I give you 100 rupees, okay? For example, I give you 100 rupees, okay? If I ask you to purchase certain items. So for example, you have all these items you have to purchase, okay? You have to spend the 100 rupees equally on all these items, equally on all these items. So you will be spending 20, 20 rupees on each item. So it means that you have assigned the equal weight, you have given equal importance to all the items, to all the items which are in observation. So this type of weights, if you are giving on particular item, it will be called as unweighted or simple index, unweighted or simple index. So let's see the weighted index number. The various items that constitute index number are not equally important, are not equally important here. So some items are not having that much priority, some items is having high priority. So some weight, greater weight is assigned to some items, less weight is assigned to some other items. So this type of index number is called as weighted index number. So thus weights are assigned based on relative importance of indexes. So weights are assigned here based on relative importance which is having more importance to that particular thing we are going to apply the more weights. So let's take the same example if I have if you have the 100 rupees if you want to spend the 100 rupees on these four items. So how you are going to spend this? So you will be spending in such a way okay such that 50 rupees you are spending on one particular product 20 rupees on another product 10 rupees on some product. So it means that you are not equally dividing your 100 amount equally on all the items to some items you are purchasing with 50 rupees some items 20 rupees some items 10 rupees so it means that or uh, whatever the items you have whatever the items you have you are giving you are not giving equal importance you are giving relatively some importance some more importance to some product less importance to some products so in this way i have explained you the weighted and unweighted index number so let's see more in detail about unweighted index number and weighted index number. What are the different index numbers we will be having under this? So index number, types of index number, we have unweighted or simple index and weighted index number. So under unweighted or simple index, we will be having two types here. First simple aggregate method we have, next simple average method we have. First aggregate method we will be having, aggregate method, next average method we will be having in simple average, uh, simple index number or unweighted index number. So coming to simple aggregate method, we have two types here, price index we will be finding and quantity index, price index and quantity index. So what is price index, what is quantity index in coming videos I will tell you, okay. So under simple aggregate method you will be having two price index and quantity index. Next coming to simple average method using arithmetic mean, geometric mean or median we will be calculating simple average method of index number with the help of arithmetic mean or geometric mean we will be finding simple average method of index number. So next we have weighted index number, weighted index number. They are also of two types okay. The first type we have here is weighted average method weighted aggregate method so first here we have the average next we have the aggregate okay so let's see what is a weighted average method of index number here using arithmetic mean geometric mean and median same average means we are going to calculate with the help of arithmetic mean or geometric mean or median we are going to find out the average 
नेक्स्ट वी हैव एग्रीगेट मेथड वेटेड एग्रीगेट मेथड हियर वी हैव नंबर ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ इंडेक्स नंबर फर्स्ट वी हैव लैस प्रे इंडेक्स नंबर नेक्स्ट वी हैव पैसे इंडेक्स नंबर नेक्स्ट वी हैव मार्शल एडवर्ड मेथड नेक्स्ट वी हैव बॉलीज मेथड नेक्स्ट वी हैव फिशर्स आइडियल मेथड नेक्स्ट वी हैव कैलिज मेथड एंड लास्ट वी हैव वॉल्स प्राइज इंडेक्स नंबर okay so all these different types of index number i have here so total i have seven different types of index number under weighted aggregate method first we have last pair method next we have paste method next advert method bollies method fisher's ideal method kelly method wells so all these seven methods we have in under weighted aggregate index number weighted aggregate index number are of seven types what are index number in terms of price index in terms of quantity index in terms of value index so price index is denoted by p price index is denoted by p if i say p suffix 0 it will be called as base year price it will be called as base year price if i have p suffix 1 so simply i can read as p0 p1 p0 means base year price p0 means base year price p1 is current year price okay p0 stands for base year price p0 stands p1 stands for current year price same like this quantity i have q0 q0 means base year quantity q1 means current year quantity so we have price index quantity index and the last we will be having value index last we will be having value index value index is denoted by v so v0 means base year value v1 means current year value so in this way our index number will be so index number purely of three types only first is we are going to have price either we are going to find the price index or quantity index or value index okay if i have the weighted or unweighted index number whatever we will be having different types all these different types as we have discussed in previous slide okay all this index number will be in terms of price or quantity price or quantity if i say price means it will be either base base year price or current year price p0 or p1 quantity means either base year quantity or current year quantity q0 or q1 value means either base year value or current year value v0 or v1 so in this way we will be having all this index number so this is all about our introduction to index number in coming videos i will be telling you more in detail about index number thank you please subscribe to my channel like and share my video thank you